When we talk about quant jobs, what do we mean as by your understanding and your knowledge and your experience? Okay, so there's a lot of ways to break down quant finance in general. And I think Mark Joshi had a paper and it had, I don't know, like five types of quants, six types of quants. And then over the years, it kind of got narrowed down to four types of quants. But from my perspective, I really just see it as there's only two types of quants out there. Uh, the first one's going to be model development quant. So these are going to be guys that are building um, mathematical, statistical models that are going to be doing anything from pricing to like customer retention to repossessions of like mortgages and auto uh trading side right, modeling volatility. So you have one side that's doing all the development. And then on the other side of that, I see more or less the validation quant. Uh, and the validation quant does a similar job, but a little bit different. They don't build the models. They review all the actual models and then test all the assumptions behind the models to make sure they're sound for use. Um, and then they also look at you know different ways, like new creative ideas on how can we create like synthetic data how do we run the models through that? How do we put them through rigorous tests and come up with some side of kind of solution? Uh, there's two kind of non, I call them non-quants, and a lot of people will probably be upset when I say it, but the first one is going to be uh, model implementation or guys that are just programmers. So I ran into guys that are making, you know, two two $250,000, uh, but they're just computer science undergrads that are working at hedge funds, and their main goal and their passion is computer science. They don't have a clue what a stochastic processes is or how the stock market works or any of that, but they're really good at what they do, but I don't consider them quants just because you're not doing the math and stats and theory behind finance and quantitative finance. And then that other piece is going to be the trader. I don't consider most traders these days as quants, even if you work in a quantitative fund. Uh, the reason being, I think, comes down to the skill set. So traders are very unique. They have very different skills than an average quant. Um, and a lot of them now at larger firms are kind of divvying out where you're monitoring the trading platform and the systems and you're making decisions and you're using the tools that the quants built, but you're not actually doing any analysis or analytics. You're just kind of using what the quants provide you. So that's kind of my take on the quant job and kind of atmosphere around it. Okay. Lots of information. <laughs> Basically, you're saying development and validation. Right. Um, so where would you fit someone that doing uh, risk management? Because this is a key word that we're using, you know, you're going to get a job in risk management. You are going to be a data analyst. Are you saying that you could be a developer and a validator within that, that realm of things? Basically? Right. So I guess we can take a step back a little bit. So if you're developing a model, I kind of see two halves too. You have the investing side, which would be like hedge funds and, wealth management. And then you have the banking side who's actually creating products and offering them. Somebody's going to develop those models and you can work on something like a pricing team. So you're a pricing quant. You'd be model development because you're building those models. And then there's always somebody on the back end testing it. Um, and I should note, so this isn't really, validation is not really common in a lot of investing firms. And I think that's why a lot of these hedge funds go bankrupt because they don't really know what they're doing. And uh, Marco's Lopez de Prado, who wrote a book on advanced financial machine learning, uh, he mentions in his book in the beginning, like you need to have these structures of development and validation and have segregation between the two. Mm -hmm. But there's lots of different types of jobs you can kind of narrow it in. Like research quant, I would consider like model development. They're developing strategies and models and testing them. And then when you actually implement those, you'd have validation teams that would test that. So, but yeah, for risk management, we have the same structure. Somebody builds models to price like loans, for example, and then somebody or value at risk, somebody builds a model for that. And then somebody would test those assumptions and maybe puts in different distributions for that. 